Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me for another unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing one of the fastest video game characters in gaming history. Ready? Here we go. Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Man Savage Dan back with another Nintendo Switch unboxing. Today, I've got Sonic Mania Plus. Really like the cool uh, outer box here with the foil gold foil cover nice and shimmery but uh if you guys don't know this was a digital only release earlier last year or it may have been this year i can't remember but now we have a physical version it's available on ps4 and the switch but i went with the switch version just because i'm in love with the switch right now and i like to take games on the go when possible but uh just wanted to get get the unboxing for you guys there's your plain old spine there. I'm sure it's going to be the same on the box. It's one thing I wish uh, Nintendo would change is the dull <laughs> spines on these game releases. Anyways, let's get this baby open. If you guys don't know what Sonic Mania is, I've got a lot of glare here. Sorry, guys. If you don't know what Sonic Mania is, though, uh, I thought it was a compilation of different Sonic games. Of all the, like three or four Sonic games, but it's actually uh, let me just be ripping her open here while I'm talking. But it's actually um, it takes parts out of different Sonic games and kind of combines it into a new adventure with some new levels every now and then. I believe. Don't know all the details. Never played the game yet, but uh, just kind of going by what others have told me. I'm gonna save my little sticker here. It does include an art book. And what's it say? Includes art book and Sega Genesis reversible cover. And that's probably the one I'm going to turn out because I've seen somebody else. And I thought it looked pretty cool. Looks like an old school Genesis cartridge. I'm trying to be careful with this. Don't want to mess up my outer sleeve here. Come on. Once again, I've got my good old brother helping me out. With my cameraman. Still don't really have a good camera stand. There's a little bit better uh, look at the gold foil cover without the plastic. But let's see. The boxing is kind of weird. It's not really a box. It's just a sleeve. So it's just going like, to kind of fall out the bottom here. I kind of wish they would have made a box just so when you set it on your shelf, you don't have to worry about that when you pick it up. But it has like a, I don't know, just a little piece in there to kind of keep everything together let's see here here's the art book we'll go through it really fast just in case you guys want to see what all it includes there's the front and back got the Sega logo classic Sega logo and it's still so funny to me to see a Sega game on a Nintendo console and this thing's really stiff it's all paperback a bit cool to have a hardback but can't complain for a free book this game was only $29.99, so it's pretty cool to get this. I'm just going to flip through it really quick, guys. If you want to pause the video to check any of these pictures out a little closer or to read this, some of this stuff, feel free to do so. Nobody's rushing how fast you watch my videos. They're back. You do have two new characters. Not really sure if these guys were playable in any other Sonic games, but I'm thinking they're new for this game. Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel. There's some of the in-game graphics. Old school pixel art graphics. Big fan of those. I was on the fence about this game for a while, but uh, after watching my uh, YouTube buddy Radical Reggie play it last night live, he sold me on it, so thanks Reggie. He just makes gaming look fun, just like it was in the good old days. Just play a game and have good times with it. Pretty cool to see all the artwork, though. Not sure how much of this makes it in the game, but a lot of cool concept art, backgrounds, what have you. <laughs> but I've never finished a Sonic game. I was always a Nintendo guy growing up, I guess. Never really owned a Sega Genesis. But uh, hopefully this will be the first time I actually complete one. 
And Reggie told me to try Sonic uh, CD if I ever want to try to get through a Sonic game that's a little bit easier. But I saw him post today on Twitter that this game and Sonic CD were his two favorite Sonic games, so this one must be pretty dang good. It's pretty cool. Got all the characters in color and then their black and white profiles from the side in the front view. Sorry guys, trying to flip through a little faster. Don't want to bore you all day, but I just like to show what all you get with these games. Special thanks. Some little doodling there. <laughs> Pretty neat. It's funny to see Sonic drawing, kind of like a stick figure. Oh, that's all. So, to the actual game. careful I don't want to scar up the plastic but it's hard to do that without here's the game itself guys not as shiny as the cover but uh looks like all the pictures are pretty much the same Best Sonic game ever from GameSpot. Let's just get her opened up, see if there's anything. Yep, we do have the uh, reversible cover. Cover, not cover. A uh, little advertisement from the Sega shop. Save 15%. And a little advertisement for Sonic Forces available now. And then here's the, di and the disc, the cartridge itself. If you can get zoomed on that good enough but simple yet effective and then you get the cool reversible cover and I think I'm gonna go with that one guys because I don't know I just like the retro theme of the whole thing this looks like an old Genesis box so we can get that turned around and show you what it looks like without messing it up too bad and straight looks pretty good and there's the reversible cover looks pretty nice much better spine <laughs> it's worth flipping it around just for that for me and then the back's a little different pretty cool though so uh, pretty much it guys, get this stuff back together in the video, may try something a little different with this video guys, may try to get some, uh, some uh, editing with this one and maybe do some gameplay, but if you've seen Sonic games in the past, I'm sure you know what they're all about. I'm going to save my little sticker here, I'll peel that off later. But anyways guys, that's everything. I appreciate y'all watching, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and thanks for the help, my brother behind the camera. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you next time. Later.